why America still doesn't have hypersonic weapons. Both Russia and China say they have hypersonic missiles. Russia has even used them in combat against Ukraine. But in the United States, hypersonics are still experimental. How come? To answer that question, we have to define the terms. Supersonic means faster than the speed of sound. But what does hypersonic mean? What is it faster than? Generally, hypersonic means faster than Mach 5. That's five times the speed of sound, or 3,836 miles per hour. The advantages of such a missile are twofold. It flies low enough to avoid anti-ballistic missile systems, but it also travels too high for anti-aircraft defenses. However, a hypersonic missile still has to slow down to hit its target. There are two main types of hypersonics, glide vehicles and cruise missiles. Glide vehicles are launched from a rocket before gliding to their target. Reaching hypersonic propulsion is a challenge. These missiles have engines called scramjets. They use the surrounding oxygen and produce thrust during flight. This allows them to cruise at a steady speed and altitude. Technically, any ballistic missile is hypersonic at some point. What Russia has are just air ballistic missiles launched from airplanes. They don't have glide vehicles. More importantly, hypersonic missiles need maneuverability by maneuvering at super high speeds, they become very difficult to intercept. Russian Kinjal missiles are notoriously bad at maneuvering, so Patriot Pac-3 batteries in Ukraine have shot them down with ease. China has its own long-range hypersonic missile. The DF-27 has a reported range of 3,000 to 5,000 miles. It was secretly tested in February 2023. Unlike the Kinjal, the DF-27 does have a hypersonic glide capability. Potentially, it could be used to strike U.S. carrier groups. So why is America so far behind? There are several competing concepts in development. The Army has something called LRHW. It's more commonly known as Dark Eagle. This is a unique hypersonic weapon fired from land-based launchers. The Boost Glide missile is capable of reaching Mach 17. It has a range of at least 1,725 miles. The Air Force, meanwhile, has the hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept. In the final test, the Hawk flew at speeds greater than Mach 5. It traveled over 300 nautical miles, above 60,000 feet. The Hawk was launched by a B-52 Strata Fortress. Hawk was deemed successful. Now Raytheon is using it to develop the hypersonic attack cruise missile. It will use Northrop Grumman's cramjets. Meanwhile, Hawk has evolved into a Mohawk. More opportunities with Hawk. It's a separate USAF research program. But why is it all taking so long? Hypersonic weapons are notoriously difficult to develop. Traveling at faster than a mile a second generates heat over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's beyond the limit of most materials. Wes Kramer, Raytheon president, says, The biggest challenge with hypersonics has always been the thermal management. Cost is also an issue. Hypersonic missiles are a lot more expensive than conventional ones. They are seen as a highly specialized weapon. They'd mostly be used against fast-moving targets. The Pentagon has about a dozen hypersonic projects in development, but there's still no word on when or how they'll be fielded.